Hey guys, it's me, Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here and you guys are like, hey, I want to stay healthy during the holidays, or if you guys are OGs coming back for more, hey, my name's Sydney. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram, add me on the Snapchat, and um, we're going to get into this. So first things first, if you guys are watching this the day that I upload it, Thanksgiving's tomorrow, so holiday season has begun, and that means you need to prepare for how to stay healthy during the holidays. And I have gone through two holiday seasons now, like two years in a row of being healthy during the holidays and sticking to my goals and actually losing weight while it's holiday season. And for some reason, because I have so much motivation to lose weight during the holidays, I stick to it. And I'm gonna tell you guys what helps me, what I do and why I see results and everything like that. And little tips and tricks to help you guys out because honestly, I feel like they're super simple but also super complex to the point where I don't think about it until I realize, wow, if I just started doing that, I'd see so many more results. Okay guys, so the first tip I have is to make sure that you guys stay on track by figuring out what you wanna do to stay on track. Like, are you trying to lose weight right now? Are you trying to gain muscle? Figure out what your goal is, understand your goal, because if you don't know what you're working towards, then you're gonna be a hot mess during the holiday season. So after you've figured out what your actual goal is, the second thing is to actually prepare food. Do not cheat or anything like that when you are alone or you're not eating with your family and your friends because you have no reason to not be eating your normal food if you're not at a holiday event. So don't keep it around, don't let people hand you food and like put it in your house, like don't buy pumpkin pie, don't do anything like that. The second thing is to focus on the fun and surround your stuff around fun and like the events themselves rather than food. So if you guys are going to be going to have a picnic at the park, play with the family members that you have that are like younger that are at the park and like help them out, stay away from the picnic area and also bring your own food when you're doing stuff like that. But I know some people don't do that. Personally for me, my family is having a pic picnic this year and so I'm bringing my own like salad and then they're gonna have their own sweet treats. The next thing is a lot of people have relatives come into town and they eat differently, they have different eating times. So the next thing I would really recommend is to figure out is your family an early eater, a late eater? Do they like to eat multiple times during the day? Do they eat less during the day? And modify your eating to eat at the same times as them so you're not feeling like you need to be eating whatever they're eating more than what you're already eating, if that makes sense. So if you eat six meals a day, but they only eat three, coordinate at least three of those meals to be eating with them so that then it's not as awkward and then you're not consuming more calories by eating like nine meals because you're eating your six and then the other three. So the next tip is to indulge on only the most special holiday treats. So if your grandma makes the best bread pudding and she only makes it once a year or pumpkin pie or whatever else that your family makes and that's special to you and you want to eat that, only indulge on the things that are like worth it to you. Don't eat one of those uh, sugar cookies that are from like the packets that have the pictures on them if you guys know what I'm talking about if that's not special to you personally for me like My family doesn't really make anything super special besides pumpkin chocolate chip cake and oh my god I could eat an entire one of those so I know that personally for me like my dad puts the icing on it Like he goes the whole nine yards for this like bun cake that I'm gonna let myself have a few Slices of that the next thing is pour your sauces lightly personally for me Like I don't really put a lot of things on my dressings. I don't put a lot of salt on anything I don't put anything on there like but then I realized you know one thing I do put on pretty heavy and I drown my food in is my gravy. So another thing is do not put on as much gravy as you normally do. Take a little bit and like cover, like I know I'm the person that like wants it in every bite. So like put it on, but then don't drown everything in it or have a little container of it serving sized out for yourself and just let yourself have that amount. Um, that's what I would do. And then same with salad dressing. Make sure that you're like not pouring it all over your salad because that totally defeats the purpose of eating a salad. Another idea that I have for you guys is if you guys are going to an event, you can totally be the one to bring the healthy dish because you know that most people are not gonna wanna bring the healthy dish. They're gonna wanna bring dessert. They're gonna wanna bring like something that's a little bit more like home cooked or something like that. Be the one to bring the healthy dish because then you have at least one option for yourself and for others that are doing the same thing as you but they don't know 
that that's an option to bring something, you know? So if it's like a potluck, bring the healthy dish. You can look up so many different recipes. So the next tip I have for you guys is to still stay active and get your family to be active with you. So a lot of the times, my family, we actually like to go out and like either go hiking, go for a walk, go biking together. And that seems to be like a really big bonding thing for my family as well as a way for us to all stay healthy and active. Um, and this is a way you can either incorporate it and do it in the morning, but if your family's not a morning person, then you can always do it after you eat. Be like, hey guys, like can we walk to blank or walk around the neighborhood or like do something together because that's something that like a lot of people enjoy doing, especially if you guys are in a climate where it's not too cold. Otherwise, what you can do is lock yourself in your room for 30 to 45 minutes and just work out. And so the last tip I have for you guys today is actually the one that I'm going to be religiously practicing during all of the holidays. And that is to increase my protein consumption and decrease my carb consumption, which sounds really weird because you guys are like, damn Sydney, how are you gonna stay away from the stuffing, the mashed potatoes, all that stuff? Well, guess what? Your home girl is going to have those meals and indulge in those, but then the rest of the time, it's going to be countered out because I'm gonna be eating my normal amount of macros, but I'm gonna be saving the macros. So I'm gonna mostly be eating a lot of protein and like just veggies besides that. And then when I go to those events, I'll have enough leftover carbs and fat and stuff. And I might go a little bit over, but I'm gonna have my protein intake. I'll still be lifting in the gym and putting those carbs and like protein and anything else that I'm eating to use in the gym. You wanna make sure that you put the protein on your plate. So whatever you're gonna be eating, make sure that you have some like protein, get some veggies in there, but then also enjoy it. Like put some mashed potatoes and gravy on there. Like I know I will. I'm going to be on my plate this year. I'm gonna have the turkey and I'm gonna have like, you know, a good fistful of it. And then I'll have probably a cup of mashed potatoes with like a serving of gravy and then I'm gonna go back for seconds of the turkey but nothing else so that's kind of like what I think of when I'm trying to eat well and then I drink water and tea stay away from like alcohol clearly and then I also stay away from the hot cocoa and anything that's just at family events that are not that healthy so I hope that this helps you guys out and if it does don't forget to like comment subscribe and just remember that if you guys have goals in life and you guys are trying to reach something and you guys are trying really hard to lose weight or gain muscle or anything like that think about it this way is that one day worth it for you to you know indulge is that is that your priority to be with friends just eat that way or is your priority to you know reach that goal you have to figure out what it is for you because for some people like for me one year I was just like this was last year I realized like I really wanted to just go and this was on Christmas Day we do this buffet thing and I was like you know I really want to go to the buffet with my family because we go to like this one that's like super cool super nice it's like 45 I think or maybe 75 one of the two but I was like you know I'm gonna go with my family but I'm not gonna eat there because it didn't feed my goals. You know, you have to live life still, but if you have a competition or if you guys have like a very strict goal that you guys wanna meet, clearly think about that. And then also, you know, it's all about balance. So I hope that this helps you guys out. If it did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys in my next video. And also, if you guys want, I'm totally down to do a what I eat in a day kind of like holiday vlog so you guys can see what I eat during the holidays. If you guys wanna see that, comment down below um but with that being said i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys